Sean, I just have a few quick questions for you before I get started. Who here uh, has a Facebook or a Twitter account? Pretty much everybody. We are just a few of mil hundreds of millions of Facebook and Twitter users across the world. Now, if you're like me, you're probably thinking, I really don't want potential employees to see my page, pictures from last weekend. It could really do some damage towards getting that future job. What we often don't want to look, however, are some of the effects that social media has had on the professional business world, especially in the field of public relations. And that is what I'm here to talk to you guys today about, uh, social media and public relations and the positive and negative effects that it's had on the field. So what are we going to talk about today? I'm going to share with you two pros and two cons of social media and public relations, as well as some tips to prepare yourself for a job in public relations, what you could do to help yourself. So the good. A campaign. A public relations campaign is basically just a multifaceted business plan. Uh, you have a certain goal in mind, whether it's to launch a new product, to gain a new audience, to gain a bigger audience, with something in a larger goal in mind. And you, the, in the past, this has been done through traditional media outlets. So TV, newspapers, radio, public appearances. Um, it's very basic to get the job done. However, in the past few years, this has since changed. It shifted more towards online outlets. So Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, Instagram has really come into the scene and changed public relations. The hashtag, as we know, has become very popular. It's a trend and it's very easy to do for a business. You can do hashtag DePaul, hashtag whatever your company is, and this is very easy to use because anybody can use it and they can expand that out to their followers and their friends. And it's also very easy to track as well when you're measuring the success of your campaign. All right, wouldn't it be great if you could get paid just to scroll through Facebook or Twitter all day? Well, you can if you're in social media and public relations. Because social media is a large source of a lot of jobs in public relations today. You can get a good entry-level job just doing social media. Because people are looking for people like you and me. We are the generation that has grown up with social media. We know how to use social media. We know all the ins and outs of it, pictures, the hashtag, everything that goes along with that. People are also, companies are also looking for potential employers through social media. So a post that you saw yesterday and you applied to could be your job tomorrow. And once you get that job, you're going to be doing things like managing an account for your company. So you're posting uh, little advertisements, press releases, pictures as that company. You're also monitoring people's posts on your website, both good and bad, which is something that I will get to in a minute. Um, just last night, as I was preparing for this campaign, or not this campaign, this speech, <laughs> um, I was on a website called PRDaily.com. It's a very useful website for all things public relations, and I saw a few job openings, um, and those titles were such things as social media manager or blog managing editor. So you have a whole range of things you can do with this. However, where there's a good, there's a bad. Um, some cons of public relations um, and social media, one of them is that social media is 24-7. We live in a very instantaneous and immediate society. And that's a good and a bad thing for public relations because anybody, you and me, we can go on a company's website and post a good or a bad review, a bad experience, and that experience can go out to the, all of those company's followers. Everybody can see that post make your company look really bad or really good depending on the kind of feedback you get. It can be good because usually you can fix the situation pretty quick before it escalates. However, a social media blunder can really do some damage to your company. And as my public relations professor last quarter said, to put out a social media fire, you need to use social media water. So by this he meant that if you have a conflict that arises through social media, you should deal with it using social media. Try not to escalate the conflict by bringing it to public attention through TV, radio, magazines. The good thing with social media, it is immediate so we can deal with things as they arise. Another problem that we all have to deal with when it comes to social media is being hacked. This has happened for many different companies. Uh, the Associated Press just a few weeks ago. 
ago, their Twitter feed was hacked and they made a post that the White House was being attacked. A problem with this, as you can imagine, is that it can really do some damage for your company, can really increase distrust in the company because people don't automatically know that this is false until the company says, hey, this is not right, we've just been hacked, we're sorry. If you handle that situation well, however, you can really gain some respect for your company. If you don't, however, it can be very damaging and very detrimental. The good news, though, in this situation is that anybody and everybody can be hacked. So we have sympathy for our companies when this happens, and we learn from that those experiences. So making passwords more secure, making sure only a select number of people have access to these accounts. So now that we've talked about some of the positive and negative effects of social media and public relations, I want to tell you guys how you can help yourselves prepare for the use of social media in the professional business world. So if you don't have a Facebook, you don't have a Twitter, a LinkedIn, you should really get one. Prepare yourself for what a potential employer could ask you. If you have a certain topic that you're passionate about, blog about it. Gain some writing skills, gain some good experiences with writing online. Vine and YouTube are also becoming very popular. Vine is a new, uh, new app where you can film a short six second video. It's great for launching a new product or creating a sneak peek of something yet to come. In an interview I had in December, I was asked uh, for an internship this summer, I was asked how much I use social media. And at that time, I only had Facebook. I said that I did control the Twitter, Facebook, and the news page accounts for my job at the time. However, I don't think that was quite good enough because in the end, I didn't get the internship. So since that experience, I've since changed that. I now have a Facebook, a Twitter, and a LinkedIn. And I already have my own YouTube account as well. And for my job with the Cubs, which I've spoke to you guys about in the past, I also put a YouTube video on that to get that job as well. So companies realize how important social media is to our world and how we, as a younger, younger generation, are using this in our everyday lives. Okay, so what did we cover today? We talked about social media and how it is the foundation for new PR campaigns, and anybody can get a good entry-level job doing social media. Unfortunately, anybody can bring you down with a bad review can really tear down your company's reputation. Nothing is safe. We can all be hacked and all of our information is public, even if it's set to private settings. Anybody can find it. Last but not least, subscribe to your company, a company that you like, follow them, follow the people, take pictures, film videos, continue those social media skills, really perfect them, because that's what people are going to be looking for. Because as Richard Edelman, CEO of Edelman Worldwide, a major PR firm, said, social media is changing the way we communicate. It's the future of public relations.